Hey everyone, it's Tommy from the Glowy Crease Network, and today we're looking at something I am really excited about, and that is the Paso Generation 2 Chest Protector. Now, if you've been watching my personal videos for about the past month, month and a half, you've noticed that I've been wearing this chest protector exclusively for that time. And then this is absolutely fantastic. Not only is it huge, and it offers a lot of protection, it's also very, very mobile. So it's very interesting that a chest protector that looks this big and it looks very bulky is actually extremely mobile. So I want to take you through the chest protector, the parts of it I like. You know me, I'm not too much for the technical specifications. I'm more about the experience and how you're using it and what the benefits are. So we'll go through those. So let's get started. Now I backed up the camera a little bit to show you guys just how big this chest protector looks. And this is one of the biggest benefits of this chest protector. As you can see, it rides very high on my shoulders. And what that does is obviously it's going to block much more of the corner. I'm about 5'11", and when I go down in my butterfly, which is very, very often, again, if you've seen my personal videos, I am down in my butterfly a lot. So I need something to go ahead and protect those corners. And this chest protector with the high riding shoulder floaters definitely works. Now, obviously there's a lot of adjustability with this chest protector, and we're going to go through that in a second. But first, I want to go through the portions of the chest protector on the front, and then on the arms, and then we'll get to the adjustability. So, we can get started there too. So I already talked a little bit about the size, but one thing I also want to emphasize is that it's extremely mobile, even out of the box. I don't do anything as far as break-in goes for chest protectors. Basically, I just play with it and I deal with it. And some chest protectors are way better than others, and this one is definitely way better than many others that I've tried. And that's absolutely fantastic. So, even though it's very big, obviously I look very bulky, I still have full mobility either way, there's no restriction, and even better, you always have to do the finger to nose test. So, can you bring your finger out and bring it to your nose? And you can see here, the rest of the chest protector stays very taut, and I can still do that. So that means I can take a drink, I can put my mask up, I still have full mobility of the entire chest protector. And of course, importantly, I'm able to cradle pucks. And that's one thing that I want to emphasize too on this chest protector. While there are many options on pretty much every part of this chest protector, I think a very important option here is the sternum protection. And many chest protectors have a very hard sternum protector, and this one is actually very soft on the outside. And what that does is it allows you to cradle that puck as it comes in. Again, if you've seen my personal videos, especially the one that I took uh, last week, uh, you can see a couple pucks coming in, and you can see here, it goes in very nicely. And it doesn't go in so far that it's uncomfortable or anything, but it comes in and it cradles the puck, and that way you're able to get that rebound. So that works out really well. Now one thing that I also think is very important for chest protectors is the profile. And you've seen a lot of goalies who will get what I call the goalie boo. And that's because their chest protector and their shoulder floaters kind of come out funny. And this one doesn't do that at all. It's very flush going straight down. When I'm wearing pants, it comes in very flush. And that way you're getting a very consistent feel for when that puck is coming in. So I think that's absolutely great as well. Now another thing I want to talk about is the arms. And it was an issue with the first generation Paso chest protectors. There were quite a few goalies who were getting some stingers in the arms. And they've really done a huge service in fixing that problem. And there's a couple things that they did, and I think it's worked out really well. So first of all, when I am facing frontwards, you can see the arms are absolutely huge. And when I bring them into my body, you now have a very, very flat face so that you're able to cover as much net as possible. Now, at the same time, if I turn, you can see just how much protection there is, not only to the front of the pad, and obviously on the inside of the arm, but also on the outside and on the back. So, some chest protectors don't have very much padding on the outside of the arm or on the underside, and this is especially important for those goalies just like me who use a fingers up position. So if my hand is up like this when I'm going to catch, obviously this is being exposed. So it's extremely important to have all of this be very well protected. And there is a lot of padding in here and it's rather thick, but it's not very heavy at all. So that works out very well. So obviously another thing I wanna point out with this chest protector is just how adjustable it is. So of course we not only have this strap right here, which keeps it in tight through the midsection, but we also have many different adjustability options up there in the shoulder. So you can see in the shoulder floater, 
There's one, two, and actually three options if you wanted to go ahead and strap it over on this back plate as opposed to um, over there on the side. And that will bring it in a little bit closer for those goalies who like a more closer feel or if they want to bring the shoulder floater back. So whichever is your preference, you're able to adjust that. Now there's one more area of adjustability that I really, really like with the Paso chest protector. And that is this little clip right here. Now, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it on camera, but if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I like to clip my pants and my chest protector together. And that way it keeps the spine protector down and out of my way. And what Paso is able to do is actually add this little clip that goes around the small section on your pants and it comes back up and clips it right in. And that way it's a little bit more taut and it keeps your chest protector down. Really, I probably don't even need suspenders in this case, but I still wear them anyway. Now, obviously when you have a chest protector that's this big and appears to be this bulky, you would probably think that it's heavy and or hot. And really, I don't think that's the case. There's a couple of things that I think lead to that. And first of all, they use a lot of this mesh material that's here on the wrist. And this not only keeps you very well cooled, but it also reduces weight. Really, as far as weight goes, I'd say it's a little bit average to maybe a little bit lighter than I'm used to, I would say. And then as far as hotness goes, it's definitely just average. Um, I like to tuck in and I use suspenders. So it tends to be very close to my body and it tends to get hot really quick. And really, I feel that this one didn't get that hot very quick. Maybe if I had a really tough game, it would get a little bit hotter, but otherwise it's really not that bad. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review and I hope you'll check out Paso and you can see them online at PasoHockey.com. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I see you out on the forum and out on the ice. Good luck.